Steph Machado joining us live in studio to talk about uh, the week in politics. The 4th of July was Monday, so this is still technically a holiday week. Did not slow down the political news at all this week. It surely did not. And actually, minutes ago, Brian, our colleague uh, Ted Nisi wrapped up an interview with Providence State Senator Tiara Mack, who's twerking TikTok video on a Block Island beach, of course, mm -hmm. made national headlines this week. She got both positive and negative reaction to that upside down twerking video. And Ted asked Mack about the backlash to the video. She said she did hope that the video would go viral and attract people to her TikTok page, where she mostly talks about reproductive rights, but she didn't expect it to blow up the way it did. She said she's received a lot of abusive messages, unfortunately, but she's also happy about the conversation that it sparked. I've struggled with the idea that in order to be respected, I have to be fully clothed and buttoned up and I have to be performing in a way that is inauthentic to myself. I have to be performing in a way that society has determined is professional. And Senator Mack is being challenged in her primary this September by former state rep Joe Almeida. And there's also a Republican, Adriana Bonilla, who's running for the seat. Ted's interview with Senator Mack will be on tonight at 6. Again, that happened moments ago. Yes. Right upstairs. All right. So let's also talk about the race to replace Jim Langevin in Congress. Uh, Republican Alan Fung was right here in the studio today to talk about his campaign for the 2nd Congressional District. That's right. Fung will be on this weekend's episode of Deucemakers, the interview coming on the heels of that Boston Globe poll last week that has Democrats mm. really worried about this congressional seat turning red. Fung is a moderate Republican who will really have to thread the needle uh, to gain independent and Democratic support while also, uh, you know, keep not losing any conservative uh, support. You may recall two months ago, Fung was interviewed right here on 12 News at 4, Brian, and our colleague Kim Kalunian asked him how he would vote on several abortion rights bills being considered in Congress. He said he hadn't read the bills. Well, today, Newsmakers host Tim White asked him again. He was a little bit more clear about what he would support. Bottom line is, I would be supportive of legislation that provides access to abortions up to like the European standards, whether it's into that second trimester, whether it's, if it, time frames are difficult to, uh, you know, usually it's like 15 to 20 weeks within that time period, so that's something I could be supportive and of. And Fung is the only major Republican candidate in the race. While there is still a crowded Democratic primary, it's down to five candidates after Cameron Moquin dropped out this week. Still in the Democratic primary is Omar Ba, Joy Fox, Seth Magaziner, Sarah Morgenthau, and David Siegel. Alan Fung also talked on Newsmakers, Brian, about how his opinion of Donald Trump has evolved. So you can hear more of mm. that in Tim's report coming up at 5. Again, politics don't take the holiday. What Never. a week. Steph Michelle, thanks for joining <laughs> thanks, us today Brian. at 4.